Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Rover says that this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew and Purple Mattresses. Yeah. Okay, here you go, Kirby. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome artist Esau Andrews. Thanks for coming, my man. Uh, I've been wanting you for for ye- for over a year now, huh? Well, I'm not playing hard to get. I'm I, know, I know, I'm know, shy, I, know I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you're shy, but I'm so I, I'm, I'm I'm so glad I'm so glad you showed up. It'll be okay because you're safe here at the Stevie Weeby Show. There's no malice here. There's no um, bad energies. Um, but George, do I have to go right you know, into let's, this? Uh, let's give him a chance to relax. We'll okay. We'll we'll pay some bills. We have some sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. We have some sponsors. Thank the Lord. Um, Blue Chew. Shout out to Blue Chew. It's a penis pill. Okay. Okay. Is that what it is? It's a penis pill. I took it the other night. Oh my! I mean, I wish my girlfriend was here. I took it just to see. It. You know, it was easy. I chewed it. It was fruity. It it reminded me of like a Flintstone vitamin. And literally a couple minutes later, um, I um. I could grab my um, my sex toy, but bing, <laughs> I was hard like a rocket, friend. And I normally masturbate just for uh, 15 to 20 to 25 minutes. I think I did it for an hour. And I went on Pornhub. I usually stay on Pornhub, but I went to I went back to X videos. That's how that's how animalistic <laughs> the blue chew got me. That's how animalistic I, that's I felt down here. I'm like, yeah. you know, I'm a, I'm gonna go to to Grant, Granny Cream Pies. I'm gonna go back to my my roots on X videos. I was like, Bing, and then um, I'll show you what I use. Uh, you could just keep your distance. Uh, so yeah, my uh, the blue chew was going in there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's So go to Blue Chew. How about this? That was a good, damn good commercial. Yeah. Okay. So you know where to go. Right now, we've got a special deal f- for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you, when you use our special promo code STEBE, S-T-E-E-B-E-E. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's... B L U E Chew dot com promo code Stevie just like the Stevie Weeby show. Try it free. Try it free. Okay. Um, Blue Chew is better, cheaper, faster, and we thank them for sponsoring the Stevie Weeby show. Round of applause for Blue Chew. <laughs> now back to what's important. Imp- Important in front of my eyes right now. We have a very, very talented artist. Um, I trip oh, out on your pieces, man, um, of art. I don't know how long you spend uh, or how long it ta- took you to get that good, but uh, let's get into it, man. Where are you? You're from Arizona? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, well, I was born in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. but I moved to Arizona when I was six months old. Tulsa? Uh, Altus. Mm-hmm. Is that near? Um, I don't know. Where Oklahoma it's at. State, or oh, is it? Near, I don't know. Oh, you have no it's, idea. It's, it's in there. And then where did you? Where you moved to Phoenix? You said? Uh, yeah, Mesa, okay, East Mesa. Because my folks are in Gilbert. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm out so there. You're in between like 
Mesa Chandler Gilbert. Or yeah, or yeah, around, you yeah. Know what I mean? Really close to Apache Junction. Yeah, That's are you close where... to the Arizona Mills Mall? Were you, or was that around no, back then? That's I'm, new. I'm, I'm closer to the Superstition Springs one. Oh, the one on. Yeah. And that's why we really kind of connected because I didn't know that. But once you brought that up, because I spent many, my parents are in Arizona, Gilbert, as we speak. But yep. I went to Arizona State oh, cool. in the 90s. And um, I felt like an outcast on campus. And uh, it, it wasn't until I moved uh, to the dorm on Apache Boulevard. You know mm-hmm. where that is. Yeah. Um, Wait, how old are you? Are you 40? I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm in my 40s. You're in your 40s. Yeah. Okay. But they think I'm 32, so we'll just say right. I'm 32, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm in my 40s. Yeah. Are you Are you up there too? Or? I'm 40. There you go. So this is... um. So do you remember Sub Society Skate Shop? Yes. See, that's where I used, we used to hang out. Mm-hmm. Um, cause my dorm was literally a block away. So oh, yeah. it was like, like Apache Boulevard. It's like Dor- Dorsey. Dorsey, and, yeah. And Filibertos. Filibertos. And then, and yeah. then a Pita Jungle. Jungle. Yeah. Wow. So we have that in common. Yeah. Um, so I, um, um, yeah, we, me and my buddies used to hang, we, uh, cause the, uh, I forgot the, who the owner was. There was twins that worked. I remember these oh, twins. Oh, yeah, do yes. Do you remember these twins? Yes, I do, and I'm, I'm being put on the spot. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, but I do forget. you remember them, right? Yes. Yeah, I always, like, I always, like, was fascinated because every time I went in there, like, either one or two of the twins would be, like, talking about sponsorship. Like, they worked at the skate shop, and they were good, but, like, I think they were, like, just, like, below what you needed to be to be sponsored. But I could tell they always, like, like yeah, I, I mailed my demo or, like, whatever, they're like, VHS tape or to this company. But um, uh, they had a TV. I don't remember. They had a TV in the back. They let us watch skate videos mm-hmm. and stuff. So so did you – how did you – um? get into skateboarding or did you go did you get in were you a skater first then got into art uh no i'd always been doing artwork ever since i was as young as i can remember yeah yeah i, I feel like uh yeah there was nothing else to do out there there's mm-hmm. dirt roads you know? mm-hmm. there's still no street lights where my mom lives where i grew up wow um <clears throat> but uh yeah uh i started skateboarding maybe when uh right out Sixth grade, seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, and the, uh, and then did you? What? How did you get into to that? How did you get into skateboarding to begin with? Well, uh, there was a friend of mine, uh, Chad Uptain. Mm-hmm. You know, he was really into skateboarding. He was really good, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I bought one of his hand me down boards. It was an Eighth Street, um, yeah, yeah, Sal Barbier. Yeah, and um, yeah, I bought a used one off of him, and. Uh, I started just walking my skateboard to, to elementary school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Started yeah, skateboarding, yeah. and then yeah. some of the roads got paved, and then we like trek all the way to Walmart. And, yeah, and we yeah. Started skateboarding, just street stuff. Mm-hmm. I never got into ramp or anything. Me neither. Um, uh, do you remember the wedge in Scottsdale? Yeah. So okay, so that so we have that in common too, because um, that was the one of the first destinations my buddies would uh, take me to, it, and then they would we'd sometimes stop by a place called Sidewalk Surfer. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember There's that? Sandy, who yeah. Was on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I remember um, even before each uh, semester, like before a school, what's like my mom like let me like pick out a couple shirts there, like and then like take me to the dorm, and that was like my school shopping. But I remember. Um, Back then, um, there was a, uh, you know, you know who the good guys are. And I remember uh, Scotty Kopelman and Eric Ellington were there. And I remember me and my my homies were just, you know, because before the skate park, there's a skate park there now, right? Right. But when we were there, there it was just literally, um, it was like an incline, right? Yeah. It was just like under the bridge and it was like a bank, flat bank. And then it was pretty high, the top of the bank, yeah. wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was hanging out with my friends because, oh, you'd also, they would put a, a trash can on top of the bank mm-hmm. sideways and my friends would like back 180 it or like do ollie over it. But I remember um, a couple men and uh, all those guys were there and we would just watch them. And I remember uh, Eric Ellington from the top, ollied from the top of it to the very bottom. Mm-hmm. And, me, and then that was like... 
that's when I knew like, oh, th- these guys are really good. <laughs> yeah. You know, we would never I, try that. I, if those guys were there, then I, yeah. I was probably there too, because that's, you might've been there. That's then. who I hung out with every day. So that was your crew. That was that was the crew. So that was yeah. the crew. We were afraid yeah. of you guys. <laughs> we were afraid of you guys. Yeah, that was that was the crew. Cause even back then, um, a lot of people don't know this, but Scotty Copelman was the best. Sure, yeah. Like back yeah, then everyone was scared he got of got on blind. Yeah. For like a, a short He was time. the best, at least in that yeah. area in Arizona, like at all the places, people would just sit and watch him. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, Oh, there he is. There he is. And it was it okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, because this is, it's been so long. It was it a turtle skateboards before balance? Yes, turtle was before. Yeah. And now you hung out with those guys. Yeah. How did you get? How did you meet those guys? Uh, well, through that guy Chad Uptain, it kind of uh, he introduced me to Eric Ellington when I was maybe like, gosh, I must have been like fourteen or fifteen. Jeez. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, and then we just all hung out all the time, mm-hmm. and there was like Shane Heil, and uh, I forgot later he, on. Yeah, he lived there too. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. so crazy because all the people that you mentioned are like, um, they're like they have their they're like legit they have their own le- brands out yeah, it's now. Great. It's, Shake John, it's and great. Yeah, Baker, uh, Death Wish, yeah. and, and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I mean, Baker. what are your thoughts? I mean, do you trip out on that? Like. Because you knew yeah. him when you were a like, kid. Yeah, yeah. We all skateboarded. We, uh, you know, rode for skate shops and, and out of the bunch, you know, those those three guys mm-hmm, were, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the best. Mm-hmm. And they moved on. They moved to California. And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, but yeah, there was a time when we all, um, we skated for this, cu- uh, this skate shop called Cutting Edge in, well, okay, Ma- we're, in Mesa. We're, it was across the street from Fiesta Mall. Okay. I know where Fiesta Mall is. That yeah, I know where that is. I I don't think I ever been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, like I I was okay at, 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 during that time. Yeah, you know, like, I was just learning stuff. Like I remember I learned how to kick flip in Arizona at um, what's the mall, um, in Scottsdale, like where it starts getting nicer. Fashion Square. Fashion Square. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, we used to skateboard. There was a parking structure down there, mm-hmm. and I remember we used to go there. Yeah. And uh, my friends wouldn't let me go until I landed it, and they just go, "Just stay good, over good, it." And good then friends. I remember it was like the best feeling in the world. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the guys I met, I met like they were not from Arizona. They were from like Texas or because I met them at the dorm in the dorms. Okay. And one of them, my my Native American homie Dustin, he currently has his own skateboarding company and it's uh, like Apache Junction based uh, Arizona based it's a native it's a native company okay. it's called like four wheel uh, pony or something like that okay so I wanted to uh, so yeah I'm gonna holler at you Dustin because I wanted to do like a documentary because um, it's like a smaller company and he needs uh, exposure and it's for a good cause and stuff but uh, there was another skate shop on Mill Avenue um, Mill Avenue, heading towards Van Buren. Precinct? Or, Pre- um... It was precinct. Yeah, it was precinct. Was it precinct? Or, yeah. No, was there another precinct in, um, off of Alma School? Yeah, in, like, Guadalupe. Yeah, it was called Pants Man, and then it turned into Precinct. Precinct. Yeah. And that, the one in Chandler was smaller. It was, like, a smaller store, I think. Because my parents had a clothing yeah. store right next door. Oh, cool. So, I um, mean, I mean, there's a walk down memory lane, but I remember yeah. working at, you know, changes my mom and dad's clothing store and they had a demo and I had to work cause I was like, uh, you know, my parents didn't have employees at the time, but I remember I had, uh, they had, they set up ramps and stuff in yeah. that parking lot. Right. And so I remember like they, I like, I went in there and like that I skated for a little bit. Cool. Though, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was around, I was around there a lot too. Um, Yeah. Yeah, your parents owned a clothing store in that plaza? Yes. Because I remember there was like a thrift, like a, not a thrift store. It was a more, almost like a Ross or something. Yeah, there was, it was a Ross. Okay. Cause it was exactly we, a Ross. That was the time when like everybody was like, we 
we need to get those shell toes. She, you know, Adidas uh, shoes, yeah, and you yeah. could still get them for mm-hmm. really cheap there. And it was right after like the, you know, there the was Plan a B Ro- video. Yeah, there was, was like, a Ross. Like Beastie there was Boys, a, mm-hmm. we need the shell toes. Yeah, know? yeah, for sure. They yeah. they blew that up on uh, So What You Want and all that. Um, there was a Ross, a Burger King, a Chinese restaurant, and then there was a smoothie place. Mm. Um, but yeah, man. And then there was a Fry's, you know, Fry's grocery store. Yes. Well, I just loved, I don't know why. I mean, people probably don't, oh, I just man, love talking well, about Arizona. Arizona. I love, I love talking about Arizona for some reason. Hey, you know, there's uh, like the, the community in Arizona, the skateboard community, they're all, it's it, huge. It's and, thriving and, now, And dude. all like the, the people from back then are still skating and their kids are skating. So it's a big thing. So if any of them are hearing this, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah the wedge. No. So when I go, because my parents are in Gilbert, yeah. uh, they're they're kind of near. Um, God, uh, uh, what's it? I forgot that was street. Uh, I don't want to say the street, but they're they're near Freestone Skate Park. Okay. So I go there. When I go there, the the, the kids just at they're they're ripping. Everybody's a, everybody's so good. It's it's it's. I mean, it's what insane. are your thoughts on that? I mean, these kids are just uh, they're like on some other level. Like, yeah, uh, like from the from the. Out the gate. Yeah, this uh, Instagram is the best format for. I mean, I'm just like scrolling through. Like, I just I don't understand. I mean, they're flying everywhere. I it, mean, this kid. I mean, incredible. these kids are doing st- street and they're doing yeah. vert. Kids flying are, like around. you don't even know. You know, it's like great. yeah, they're not even sponsored. They're so, what are like, your thoughts you know? on that? Like the the um, progression of that. Like, isn't it kind of weird to see like how. It's like uh, they're, yeah, it is a little, almost, it is a little weird. It's like ro- almost like like they're like super robots or something. Yeah, everybody can do a flip trick out of uh, anything, flip, any anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, in a line. You know? Yeah, and, uh, it's just mind boggling. Yeah, and I see it. I you know I still I still you know my board's there. I still push around, but I don't like I just uh, use it mostly just to go to Seven Eleven or. You know, to, to get groceries or whatever. I just built a uh, fun box the other day with oh. metal, metal coping. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Just oh, like let's get, let's talk about that. Like, did you? How'd you learn how to do that? Here, before we get into that, let's go to. Okay, everybody. And we have our right. purple. We're gonna switch out your XLR while we do the ad, since uh, there's a little bit of cracking in the mic. But okay, you can do the ad. Let's, uh, okay. We're excited for who are we excited for? We today, are so Steve? excited for purple mattresses. Okay, I've had mine for a couple weeks now, and I haven't slept any better. Do I look like I ha- I'm well rested, George? You're looking. Is there any black? Um, blotches. Now, Steve. Uh, you know, usually it's uh, like I'm reverse aging. <laughs> I'm I'm a certain age, but I look. I'm. Good read, Steve. So I get one of these too. Okay, so <laughs> purple mattresses. You won't get a better night's rest. I had a IKEA mattress, and I it was like sleeping on stone. This thing. I mean, you're sitting on it. Are you comfortable right now? Absolutely incredible. It's like it, your your butt's infusing into the mattress as we speak, right, Jason? You can't believe it, can you? You can't even believe it. I know he might fall asleep. So we had there's a promotion going on right now. It's a hundred night risk free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. What do you think about that, Esau? That, not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Backed up by a ten year warranty, free shipping and returns, free in home setup, and old mattress removal. You're going to love purple mattresses. And right now, our listeners will get a free purple pillow. They're going to throw a pillow in there with the purchase of a mattress. Uh, let's make sure they know it's pillow. I've, uh, I a heard pill- a little, uh, was a little... A pillow. Pillow, yes. You get a free pillow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's in addition to the great free <laughs> gifts. You pronounce it the same way last time. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Pillow. <laughs> P I P I L L O W pillow. A good pillow. That, that's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site wide. Just text Stevie. Yeah, just text Stevie. Four seven four seven four seven. Four seven four seven. That's it. Just text Stevie to not the not the number T O. Four seven four seven four seven. The only way to get this free pillow is to text Stevie to four seven four seven four seven. That's S T E E B E E four seven four seven four seven. 
<laughs> what are you laughing at, George? You gave me a look. I know. I love you. I, I still got I got love for you. You and Bryce and Jason and you. Let's get back. You know yeah, what? what? I want to let's get into the because your art is mine. It it blows my mind. How? Thanks. How many hours were you putting in? How much work were you putting in in Arizona? Like, how many hours a day were you painting or drawing? Um, you know, that's a, that's a good question. Thank you. Because it, it, uh, it was like a weird thing when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I had this whole setup where I, I was, uh, uh, let's see. So I had my schedule set up to where, this was, I guess, my my junior and senior year, mm -hmm, or maybe mm -hmm. it was just my senior year, whatever. So my first, second, and third period, I would do all my homework at lunch. And then I, I set up so I had my art class my my last period of, mm -hmm. of the day. And so my fourth and fifth period, I would do the homework in art class so I could just go home and do artwork overnight. And I kind of arranged it with my teacher. And then, uh, you know, you had these like art college portfolio things it's like oh you have to have like 10 to 14 you know color slides of your work mm. and by the end of that time i had maybe like i don't know 80 or 90 like paintings and sculptures and wait, wait, you so i was, into, I was kind of sculptures like, too yeah i did i did some stuff what and you uh, about that jason and uh i was obsessed i was obsessed yeah. i was obsessed and uh and when i look back on it i'm like you know that is a weird thing that's not normal and uh where is a reference point like where does one start like did you learn how to draw with pencil first or like pens like this when did you get into watercolor like how do you learn this stuff acrylic paint like how does this happen uh so most of the like so my dad was an elementary school teacher okay and uh on an indian reservation mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's uh a uh, town called Sacatone. Mm -hmm. and is so that near White River? It's near Eloy. It's just south of uh, Phoenix. Okay, and and so uh, we had this like uh, shed in the backyard, and so you would just have all sorts of craft supplies. I mean, mm. that's what I grew up around. Just crafts. A, just like a, a huge shed full of craft supplies. How would you define crafts? Give us an example. Like, of uh, like you know like... the wooden, like you know like dowels mm. and like little motors and. Uh, you know, a lot of like wood shapes mm -hmm. and glue, glue guns, glue mm -hmm, sticks, mm -hmm. markers, um, uh, and a lot of like picture books and activity yeah. books, like a ton of them. And I think that that was like a, a real outlier for a kid to have yeah, nothing else yeah. to do except like kind of absorb all this stuff. And so early on, I was me mostly just like building stuff and doing like kids stuff. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I was uh, kind of in high school that I started like drawing and mm. painting my brother made um uh, model airplanes and so he had all these like enamel paints oh that's cool those, like testers you know those yeah, little square yeah those square yeah, enamel yeah. paints almost like nail polish you would just take those so yeah like when he he was six years older than me so around that time like he wasn't uh using them anymore so i, I just kind of adopted him use it used them as like real paint yeah 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 and uh yeah and so that was kind of and it's the worst stuff to paint with. You why, know, if you're is trying why, to why, why is that? Because it's it's like if it's like if you can imagine painting with like nail polish and trying to blend oh, and, and yeah, you know and like yeah, trying yeah. to you know yeah, it's it's yeah, made yeah. for like covering Something else. section yeah. yeah and but uh, yeah. So, so how many hours a day? You said you mentioned early previously you you worked overnight on a school night like on school nights on school nights yeah you know I would just so like that's work. what it takes huh I I it, don't know it, it, it kind of is. In my situation, uh, yeah, I needed the extra hours, you know. Yeah, and then does uh, does art class help, or is the, yeah. it seems to me you're self-taught almost, right? No, I think that like figure drawing and being pushed by your peers, like you know, I <clears throat> when I went to uh, school of visual arts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, all the people that I met there, all the students and everything. Um, I mean, everybody was just pushing. Mm. everyone else like kind of that like whatever steel sharpened steel yeah, kind of thing so yeah, everybody yeah. was like trying to um trying to so, just I, so i think improve. that's good yeah. yeah and and so what happened after high school did you go to art college yeah, or yeah something, i went to or? school of visual arts where where, where in where new at? york oh you went to new york yeah and uh that's where i met james uh oh, you james, met james Jean. Jean. yeah yeah oh so we were, we were our classmates um throughout so what school. was it like from arizona going 
That must have been a huge cultural shift. Uh, yeah, I had never been on the East Coast. I didn't mm-hmm. know anybody. Um, and I got—I remember getting dropped off, and, and one of my half sisters and her husband picked me up from the airport, and they dropped me off at the dorms, mm-hmm. uh, in right in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was. There was that show called Dream On on HBO. Do you remember this show? Do you remember this show, guys? Dream On. What year was this? It was in the early '90s. I don't remember, man. Well, when I was a kid, I, I would watch it sometimes. But anyways, like the sound, it was took place in Manhattan. And that soundtrack of that movie yeah, 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 or that yeah. television show, it always, uh, you know, like played in my head for years. Yeah. Whenever I would like step out into the Big Apple kind of yeah. thing. And, hey, uh, were you around yeah. when they filmed Kids? Uh, I mean, I was around, but I mean, I wasn't yeah, really yeah, part okay, of that was, scene. Okay, right, 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 right. I was just wondering, you know. Yeah. Because did you... Uh, so you went to art school. You met James Jean, which who did uh, yeah. that, and then oh, yeah. yeah, James did that, nice. and then like nice. did, did you guys get along right away or? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was a year younger than mm-hmm. than me, um, and yeah, and we were just all like part of this uh, group. That, um, there was a lot of like painters that were also, and there was a lot of people that were into comic books, mm-hmm. and, and uh, yeah, there was this good group of us and um yeah we, we didn't have many of the same classes together but right like, right right outside of class we hung out a lot and then when did you take that to like your career net like how does that work like um is there you finish college there then you have a portfolio of work your work yeah we were yeah you submit it somewhere i was working or? on a portfolio yeah. but i got a job doing um uh kind of like working at a kid's website while I was still in college. Mm -hmm. Um, It was called Alfie.com. It was an educational site for kids. And all of us were there. James was there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This guy, Tomer Hanukkah, Mm -hmm. he's the one who got us all the jobs. This guy, Mupan. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Gosh, who else? And and, uh, yeah, we were all just, you, uh, we were being, uh, we were working on the computer and we were kind of learning on the job because I was still a little like, early enough to where computers weren't the main thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like by the time we graduated, it was all, all it was a dot com boom. Oh, so right, I kind of right, had right. a lucky break by just kind of being hired as an illustrator, but being taught how to use a computer while at work. Yeah. So I kind of started becoming like a flash programmer. Oh, that's great. It, so I was doing just interactive, like really simple interactive, like cartoons for kids. Yeah. And, uh, websites also or, um, it, it was for a website, but they were like yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. activities within this bigger website. Yeah. And so I was doing that. And then I went to night school and then I worked at galleries and I worked at Utrecht Art Supply. And, oh, um, so you work at art su- places, like art supply places as well? Uh, yeah. And I, yeah, worked, yeah. At a, I worked at a gallery. Uh, and then and when did it, fr- okay, the trajectory from that, like to where you're at, like how did you, then how did you get to where you're at now? Like from all of that, doing all that work and. Oh, uh, like as far as getting your own art show or so I started, uh, like, I remember there was this place called, man, there's so many like different aspects. There was yeah. the aspect of like, there was this coffee shop that opened up across the street when I lived in uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Yeah. Tell, let's, let's called, talk about that. Uh, yeah. Called Supercore. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a weird name, but like they opened up and I remember it was the day their grand opening, I think was the day before the day after the whole world trade center thing. Oh, and not, so everyone was well, like, 11? Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. And so, like, you oh, know, you're around? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. You were around during 9 11? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. We thought, do you that remember? Like, let's talk. I didn't I had no idea. Let's talk 9/11. about that day. Like, where were you the day that so, this happened? So, that dot com place, that alfie.com place, like, I had gotten laid off earlier that year, mm-hmm. but my roommate still worked there, and it was directly across the street from the Trinity Church, right there at the World Trade Center site. So, Jeez. so uh, I'm just like sleeping that morning and a, um, a friend of mine who lived in Chinatown, which is also very close to the World Trade Center, called me and was like, are you okay? And I was like, what, what are you talking about? She's like, just turn on your TV. Oh turn on the TV. God. And then uh, the first tower had already fallen down. And I was like, oh my God. And so I went to the stairwell and, uh, you know, we were just watching from the stairwell and then I saw the second one fall and I, dude, I didn't know what, crazy, I didn't know what dude. was going on at that, that point. Cause I'd just woken up. Yeah. So I thought that I just saw like 50,000 people just like, oh, you know, I, right. I didn't know, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't know how long, like everything was going on. So 
that's, you know, uh, so we were all trying to like learn what was going on. I remember that on the news, they were saying that there were all these missing planes and there was like maybe like seven of them that were like missing. So we were just like glued to the television like everybody yeah. else. And I was trying to call my roommate and, uh, and he was just that one was of those. a horrible day, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was Do crazy. Do you guys remember mm-hmm. where you, what, that day? Yeah. I was in Silver Lake. I was living on Bob's couch, my brother's couch. And then they, well, I, I was sleeping like you. And then my, um, oh, a skater was living, um, skater was living with me. He was actually sponsored by, by a toy machine, um, a Larry, Larry Blossom. He goes, Hey, he like woke me up and he was like, we're under attack. Yeah. And I go, what? And then the same thing. He turned on the TV yeah. and I was tripping. I, it was like almost like an outer body experience. Like I couldn't believe it was happening. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you were actually there, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was it was kind of crazy to think of like how massive the the whole like smoke like the the buildings yeah. ruins. Did you were. smell it in the, the yeah, debris? You, yeah, you could smell it, but like you know, like I remember just at nighttime underneath all the street light, lamps, you could just see like these triangle like orange from the light because of that like orangish just stuff for like yeah. a month afterwards. Like it was like really bad, you know. Yeah. If you lived in S- S- Manhattan or like you know the southern part, like course you're gonna get like you know uh, breathing problems like it yeah. was it lasted for a really long time yeah and then did you watch uh, michael moore's documentary Fahr- fahrenheit 9 uh, yeah, yeah so i was kind of like tripping just watching that like as far as like the way the buildings look like a demolition and how it's like inside jo- it just kind of you know, confused me yeah like, that stuff is uh because the way yeah, it went we'll down you said it. the building went down like a demolition right uh sure yeah and usually, like they would, like if it hit from the, I don't know, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. I, I don't know. If well, what do you think, George? Uh, I think you've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, Steve. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I just can't believe you're there, man. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Okay, let's get back. Let's go positive now. I'm sorry. That just that it's blew comedy my mind. podcast. That blew, right? yeah, yeah, that blew my mind. Tell us more about the conspiracies. So yeah, no, 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 no. We we can get off the conspiracies. Um... <laughs> So like so, so you start showing your work. Oh yeah, yeah. So at, back at to a the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Okay, so good. so I went in there, you know, and like everybody's like not doing anything. See, I went back. No, we, nobody we went back yeah. you, to the coffee shop. I think this is the first time you had a better memory of where we were than me. Yeah, dude. So it's the purple. I'm just telling you know. Hold up. It's the purple mattress. Holy Jesus! It's a god oh, yeah. dang purple mattress because I've been getting twelve hours of sleep, and I'm sharp. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I That's what. No, because normally. When my girl's talking to me or my brother's talking to me, I have a problem listening. But you just said, I remember w- yep. where we're at, right? In the yeah. timeline. Yeah. And I brought you back to the coffee shop, friend. Yeah. So right. coffee shop. So that was what was going on across the river. Mm-hmm. And then in my little world, you know, I went into this coffee shop. They just opened. It's just like a Japanese uh, coffee shop. Mm-hmm. And uh, are, you, said, what's your ethnic, are you, what's your, are you have? My mom's from Okinawa. Go oh, man. So you're half Japanese? Oh uh, yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. I always wondered that. I should have asked it along when I first met you. Uh, cause you we were at Sasha uh, Gray's. Uh, they had a barbecue. Oh there, yeah, yeah. And uh, you were there too. Uh yeah. You, Aaron Horky, yeah. James, and Dave. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But go back to the coffee shop. Yeah. So um, I went in there and just asked if they needed artwork in the in the place, you know, and mm-hmm. uh, and they were cool with it and so I had a bunch of artwork up there they were they me. tripping when they saw your style you know it was early on where come you know, on was, don't was, be modest man. really crude no I really want to see some exam I'm going to show they, they need to see the stuff you've done it, it'll blow their minds no. but keep going I mean don't so, be so modest so you know? it, it was early the early days where yeah. I was just doing like just very like cartoony portraits and stuff mm-hmm. and but you know they were on that main street and then you know just a, a handful of years later, like that Williamsburg Bedford Avenue was just a main st- street. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the exposure I got just from showing at that coffee shop was, uh, was immense. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. You know, and, uh, you know what? I was, like that. And I think that, that that's a, it's a, you know, more people see art in a coffee shop than at a gallery, you know, maybe say at least into the camera one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Cause there might be smart students watching yeah. this and they, the like ones yeah. that, they look at you uh, like, as a god, an no. art god. Come on, man! You so guys are yeah, more, more people drink coffee than go to <laughs> than go to well, galleries. Have you heard that? Like from other friends, I haven't like uh, thought of like how big coffee shops could be actually. I, yeah, you know, I guess everybody looks kind of down on them, but like I at that time, I was just like, I just want people to see the stuff, mm-hmm. 
And so you didn't want it wasn't financial. It wasn't financial motivated. It was just, financially it was all, no, motivated. It, it was just a, exposure motivated. Ex- yeah. I like that. And then. Um, but did you sell? Yeah. Was there, I ended so, up selling all of it. At, at so eventually. back then, I mean, was that the first moment where you sold your art and you're like, oh, my God, people bought my art? Yeah. You know, there was uh, uh, this guy, Scott Mosier. Mm-hmm. Do you know, he's like a producer. He did like, uh, Mall, I think, Mall Rats or Chasing Amy. Mm, he was, he's I a producer for, for okay, those yeah, yeah, and some yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. But I guess he lived in the area and mm-hmm. he, I think he bought like six or seven of them from that in one go. He didn't even know who but, you were. No. He just liked Well, I wasn't anybody. I was but just, he liked your style. Yeah, so, yeah, and I thought that was really cool because, I mean, I was selling them for like, you know, somewhere were like $100, $200. They were Did really they cheap. look like this? Were they that size, like these like these prints? No, they were, they, most of them were bigger. They were pretty big. Oil paintings. Yeah. They were oil paintings? And yeah. It's like, so how much for an oil uh, painting back then? Yeah, like two, $300 tops, and, you know. But he sold a few of them. Yeah, that, that's, that's... So you made it a like lot. a couple thousand, yeah. maybe? Like a G, two Gs? Or... Maybe one, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. dude, but that's cool. But that's cool, that's you know? That's cool back then. That's it's cool. a coffee it shop. Cool. You didn't yeah. have no expectations. Yeah. So when that moment happened and you you realized light bulb went off and you're like, oh, people bought my art, did that give you like more drive? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was really cool, and I, I would replace, I would put new stuff in there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, me and, and James actually had, like, a, a like kind of a show at the coffee shop, and we both, like, just kind of did oh, a you big told showcase. J- you told James about it? Yeah. Good for you. And, you know, and he was already really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and his, and uh, I think he sold a couple pieces, but his prices were, wow. you know, expensive. So it's, it could start at a coffee shop for a lot of these art yeah, students. Yeah, you know, huh? and so at the same Jason, time... Jason, like, we need you to tune back in. <laughs> Jason's tuned out. <laughs> okay, okay. No, and okay. Uh, the other part was, okay. like, you know, Williamsburg, Brooklyn was also, like, becoming that, like, hipster music neighborhood. Oh. You know? You, you've heard of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. What, what groups came out of there? Was, the Yeah, was, Yeah, Yeah. Oh, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. TV on the radio. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, um, so anyway, so there was... Uh, so I was asking... Uh, you know, kind of, there were, there was a lot, those, a lot of music people were in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And so I was just trying to like, Hey, you know, can, uh, yeah. Do you need a, a flyer? Or, and there was a lot of like bars that were having like nights where they were like DJing. I was like, Hey, do you need flyers? So you talked so, to the band, the, no, the no, not, not those guys oh, specifically, but, the promoters maybe? but yeah, yeah I, was just, I was just trying to like, well, what's another way that I could get my work you know, out into mm-hmm, the, out mm-hmm. into the yeah, world, like little, little posters mm-hmm, in the street. Mm-hmm. And so I was doing that kind of stuff. And then, um, and then, uh, yeah, just a lot of like weird, odd, um, jobs like that. Mm-hmm. I did skateboard designs for a long time because through, you probably saw a lot of them. Can we, um, yeah, let's look that up real quick. Uh, yeah, like I did Eric's first board for zero. You did? When I was like 19 or something. Okay. The one like, I, how do I... East, uh, uh, Andrews. No, that's it. Esau.net or whatever. Is this it? That looks like it. And it would stuff, will stuff be on here? Uh, yeah, there's oh, here. Dude, look here, at look, these look, beautiful let's, let's say the pieces, my friend. Um, I don't know. I think it might be in projects. Wow. I did a lot of boards, it. but, yeah. um. Oh, skateboards. It's right there. So, oh, do you did those? Here, let's go oh, start from the yeah, bottom. Yeah, let's start from the bottom. You did Baker boards? I did, like, almost all of them for, like, five years. <laughs> Damn, you did Baker boards. No, right. You know, I mean, like, for a time, like, I was the Whoa, regular the regular guy for, like, these, five years. Wow. So which one was the first one you did? Well, the first one... Oh, you one, did Jeff's? A yeah, Maldonado? Yeah, it might have been that Dustin Dolan one. I don't oh, remember. Oh, wow, that's but, sick. Oh, that's from The Cure! Yeah, yeah. So there, these are like some of them, but I probably did well, like a hundred designs. Hey, 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 don't designs. breeze past them. Let's take a look at each one. <laughs> don't, uh, come on. Let's look at this. This is your work. Dude, this is, for me personally, this is so cool. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like a homage to Guns N' Roses. You got the Metallica one. Is yeah. that a, a sex, uh, which one is that? Rolling Stones? No, that's also a Guns N' Roses. Oh, Guns N' Roses. Yeah. The Cure, Standing on the Beach. Dude, are you getting this? 
So these are the first ones, right? Yeah, these are just a selected few. Like I did a lot of them. These like a lot of it, it's really embarrassing because it's so early stuff. No, it's not embarrassing. It's cool. But, cool as hell to me. But I think that like so much time has passed. So it's like, oh, that is cool to be, you know. So to you be part started of that. at two thousand two. Um. I mean, you did this in two thousand two. Uh yeah. And then you kept going two thousand seven. Two thousand six, two thousand four. I mean, this is great. Yeah, they're not in chronological order. They're order, not in but... chronological. Okay, this is my next question. How did you come up with these designs, man? Um, I love that. You know, a Dude, lot of them, that oh, is dope. The cowboy, like, what is? How'd you get? How'd you come up with that idea? Uh, a lot of the Baker stuff, the the writers had an idea. Like wow. Dustin Dolan always had a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, some people were more, uh, you know, it's like oh Jeff Lenosi. It's like. Everything has to be about weed, you know. Yeah, like, so yeah, some of yeah, them were like yeah, loose yeah. guidelines. And, and then there's a guy obviously who loves Super Mario, because you had a previous yeah. Super Mario one, Luigi, oh. and then yeah, and well, you just uh, you've done several, dude. I'm just it Couple, just keeps yeah. going. Uh, Jim Greco. Mm. I want to go back to that because you have a, a pretty well known boat piece too, right? I've seen it before. A boat like a that's flying almost, right? Yeah, Terry uh, yeah. Kennedy. Yeah. TK's board, Jeff Lenoschi, um, Andrew Reynolds board. God, like, how do you like? How long does it take you to do one design? I'm, I'm, I'm personally curious because I'm. I always wondered that. Oh man, it's all it's all over the place. But like it, you know, nothing. Do, do you it do it take on a piece a... of paper? They scan it. Like how? Where do you where do you do it on? Oh, like, okay. So yeah, for these ones, I would. Uh, uh, I would do a drawing yeah. and then I would either scan the drawing and then redraw it over it in um, this program called Flash. Yeah, this yeah. Because like, it was all vec it was all like because that program had good drawing tools for. Uh, uh, that's what I learned at that website company, mm -hmm, which is, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's, it's made for uh, like interactive vector cartoons. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought that the drawing tools were better than Illustrator. Anyways, mm -hmm. like... Um, so I would just draw and color separate everything in that, and then. Um, mm -hmm. uh, God, you're really detailed. Like, well, how? When did you learn? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is. A, a, I'm personally curious. How did you learn the uh, to to get so detailed, like the shading and and, and all this stuff? Like, you can uh, zoom in on computers. You just, you <laughs> just, boom. Oh, you just, it just keeps going. And those ones God, are this is beautiful. Have you seen these? That's you. That looks like a a a, a picture. Yeah, th and those those are like paintings. You know that you the other ones are that? the other ones are silk screened, and yeah. then these ones are like uh, just printouts. So, you know, like are you'd seen like a magazine. I mean, kind. are some of these uh, are going to be reissued or like how does one get one of these beautiful skateboards i think you could probably some of these ones are probably still lingering you could probably just buy them online somewhere, the, I this think. one like these two maybe uh, maybe god dude good for you that's amazing man that blows no, my mind can we so uh that's can some you, of them let's yeah. uh how about we do this is just i just thought of this idea you you go i, I love the skateboarding thing but go, go on to uh, something else. i want to talk about another piece that you've done and we'll talk about the process or all right all right like, yeah this is interesting to me this is good stuff huh like because people they could visually and then you zoomed on that jason yeah okay all right uh so these are just categories i've seen that one that's a yeah that one's crazy that yeah they're all just i mean so, um, how long does it take to, for know, one art on student to get this good? <laughs> I don't think that that long, uh, well, just a couple you're of years. You're staying up all night. You're well, doing all nighters in high school, dude. Come on. You know, I, I forced it to happen, but, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you look around, like there's a lot of young people that are just, you know, you just need like a, just a, a handful of years of just dedication and you can be Super good at it. Do you need a couple years? Just need, a couple years. Just like go ahead, tell the tell the art students how yeah. many years? Five years? Seven years? Uh, tops three years. But that's fifteen hours a day or something, right? Uh, not necessarily, but yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you just got to be obsessed. Do you have to sacrifice another aspect of your life? Let's say, like, um, if you have a, a vast social life, I mean, do you have to kind of put that aside and be like, you know? 
I'm not going to do that. I, I don't want to play video games. I'm going to work on this tonight. Do you need that kind of quality? Because I'm um, guessing you probably do, right? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Man, do you do yeah. tattoos, man? <laughs> uh, no. I would love, because I want to get another piece here. I would love to, if you could design something, I would get a tattoo of your art, man. You know? All right. No one's gotten tattoos of your stuff? Uh, a couple people, sure. Really? Is yeah. it online? Uh, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, you can oh probably just do a Google. Oh, my God. Let's see that. You want to let's check that out? <laughs> e, sal. Oh, no, is that spelled? Is that right? E, S, yeah. A, O. Let's, let's give a little something to the audio listeners, too, Steve. Yeah, okay, and, so... Uh, I can't forget about the folks who are listening. Okay, the... so <laughs> I, my, I'm talking about... I just came up with the images of uh, <laughs> tattoos. See, dude, look at that's your art. Put it full screen. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, this is art that Esau Andrews has done where people have got it tattoo, uh, permanently tattooed onto their body. Yeah, it's, it's really, and, really incredible. And this is not a small piece. Oh, no. Describe it, it, dude. There's some people okay, describe oh, yeah. it. Okay, this is a big. This is a big. This is a big, is this is a big Caucasian man. <laughs> yep. The back of it, I'm guessing his calf muscle, right? Yeah. So it's covering. It's one know. of Esau's house pieces, where it's a, a cool house with like a dirt road that goes down, and it looks like maybe a five room house. With uh, two, um, there's like uh, two chimney things there that are like smoking. And this it's covering all of his calf muscles. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty The crazy. entire thing. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Because uh, this feel... thing's on him forever. Uh, yeah, it makes me feel really good. Do they reach out to you? Uh, yeah. So, okay, so if one, before they get the tattoo, what do they say in their direct message or their email? Well, I would say about 90% of the people they that get tattoos um, found out about my work through this band Circa Survive. Mm -hmm. that I don't I know do. if I heard that. Yeah, what kind of music is it? It's just like indie rock. Okay, cool. So. And uh, so I've been doing their album covers mm -hmm. for the past like 12 years, 12 or 13 years. How it's, much for an album? I'm just curious. Oh, How it's much? all over the place. You but, know? You, but you yeah. get compensated, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it one flat fee? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then are they flexible? You could just, I mean, you go high, they go low. You meet them in the middle. I, I've been just usually just good with whatever. Mm -hmm. It's 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 kind of a special relationship that I have yeah. with them. I've been working with them for so long on like just kind of a good faith basis. And, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. amount of like people that they've brought towards my work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? That's amazing, dude. That's so great, let's great. so so when these people are about to permanently get ink of your work, do they say, "Hey, man, just want to let you know I'm getting this tattoo. I love this piece." Like, uh, how do you respond to that? Like, I say, "Thanks, s dude." Yeah, send me a send me a pic if you ever if you really get it. Yeah. Um, I'll say stuff like And so that. you have seen this one? Uh yeah. Okay, is there another one? Yeah, there's there's a couple of them out there that are oh, full, is it, isn't full this one? back pieces which are really crazy. Wait, wait, is this one of yours? Um Oh my yeah. goodness. It's a pretty It's another Caucasian guy. And this is full color. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for those of you listening, <laughs> it's best basically um message in a bottle. A bottle in the ocean, beautiful sun in the background, purple uh, kind of red skies. Um, inside the bottle is the, going back to uh, one of his signature houses. But let me tell you, this is bigger than the last piece. It's covering his left um, chest, his, his, uh, pectoral. his pectoral muscle, all the way... Covering his entire left shoulder, upper part of his left shoulder. How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's a lot of ink. <laughs> it is. It is. I it mean is. that that I took a lot. That he went through a lot of pain. I'm just yeah. letting you know. This is your art. He went through a lot of pain. Yeah, I think getting it's really your cool. art. I think it's really cool. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good. Honored. Yeah, honored. Yeah. Wow. 
I want to see the full on back piece. They're out there. What? Uh, uh, do you know where it is? Is I this? Don't know. Wait, hold up. This is just you just did a Google image. Is this you? Image. That's me too. Yeah. That's okay, a, so this pretty big one. Too. This Look is a that. big oh one. My God. Okay, another. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Yeah. Um, I don't think it might be an Asian guy. It might be Asian. It might not be a cocky. It might be an Asian guy. Um, what is you and with the boats, man? You know, because this is another boat one. People like boats. <laughs> But, you know, I, I think that, you know, if you're looking through my artwork, a lot of it's very escapism kind of stuff. I love it. I grew up in the desert. I love it. There's no it. boats. Yeah, there's no boats. It's a romanticized yeah, yeah, idea. Yeah. It's like, I don't know anything about boats. Boats. Yeah. You know, it reminds me, I just got this image of, I, I, have you seen Goodwill Hunting? Uh, yeah, man, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the, the picture in uh, Robin Williams? It's the guy mm. in the boat. Mm. Yeah. In the middle of the ocean, by himself, with the oars and stuff. Okay, so this one's covering basically his whole back, or at least the, the top left upper portion of his back. And it's one of your signature boats. It's black with orange, right, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah. Orange and yellow. And and then, then again, it's uh, that's your art on a, another. It's a, a person's body. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's people out there that have them. I mean, how would would you? Um, I'm just gonna throw this out there to Jason and and uh, George. Uh, if uh, let's say if we go back to San Diego and they're they're willing to, to get do another piece, would you get one of East House pieces on your body? I already told you I would. <laughs> I kind of want a boat now. I okay. mean, not that big, but a boat that will cover like uh, my left bicep. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you said. So he just did a motion all the way <laughs> up to my um, shoulder blade. I. I meant so just a, like a like just covering this area, just like the immediate uh, outer bicep you know, area. Jason, would you, you consider know, I, it? I. I don't think you should get it. Sure. Yeah. All right. Your art's great. Yeah, Can we just? I just. Uh, this is so fun for me personally. Okay. This. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is. This, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Stop, okay. Stop, no, 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 no. This no is the more. last one. This is the last one. Uh, this is like my favorite thing. Wait, where is it? They just keep getting they, bigger. They keep, keep getting bigger, <laughs> bigger and bigger. Okay, I don't know why. How do I get back I'm like on here? Sweating. You're... Why are you sweating? That's humility talk. It's it's your humility. No, I'm just you know. Well, how do I get I, back here? I don't know. Okay, but weren't we? Is this one of yours too? I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know. Okay, so we get. Okay, here we are. So this is on his right pectoral. That is an album cover. Okay, okay. What is this album cover? We're looking at um, an album cover for what group? Uh, that band, Circa Survive. Circa Survive? Yeah. And How do you spell Circa? C-I-R-C-A? That's correct. Okay. It's like Circa Skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's basically the whole album cover. It's covering his whole right pectoral all the way to his right shoulder, and it seems like it's going further down close to his, maybe even his elbow. I just can't see that. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It's amazing. So it's, that, wow. that in itself, the evidence is there. They're willing to sit through gruesome pain for your art to get your art permanently forever on yeah. a large portion of their body. Have you had anyone do a full like their whole body is your art? Uh yeah, I know of like maybe Dude. two people, two or three. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's really like uh Do you feel somewhat uh, resp I mean, how does that make I mean, this is one thing, but your whole goddamn body? Yeah, it, it it's it's weird <sighs> in a sense that like it's a, a translation, like, you know, it's like on a soft mm -hmm. skin and other artists is doing it. So things get uh, changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that it does get a little weird sometimes. It's a little weird. Mm -hmm. And and those messages are a little bit different than the ordinary messages. Wouldn't sure. you say? Yeah. Because they're saying, listen, dude, I'm paying $50,000 for this for your, to do my whole body yeah. <laughs> of your art. Yeah, it's and then how do you respond to? Do you like you have to leave, leave an emoji for that, right? Like <laughs> you have to, you have to, you have to leave this yeah. one. <laughs> you have to at least leave like what? five of those in a row, yeah. like the. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I would trip out more if it was like face tattoos. 
Oh, I've never like seen one. Like a dude one. with your boat, a boat like in the middle of their forehead. Somebody out there, <laughs> I want to see it. Just, okay, so no, whoever's watching, no, don't. and you decide to get one of Esau's infamous signature beautiful boats on their forehead, tag us or hit us up on Instagram and tag us and we'll post it somewhere. Mm. Fair enough? Yeah. This is probably it's my life, favorite man. part of the whole um, interview because it, I had no idea that people did this. I could do this for five yeah, it's, hours. It's, it's really I, we insane. could stop it's insane. and I yeah. will stop. But hold up, after this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, let me just describe one more. I don't know what body part that is. Um, Give me a first guess. Give me a guess quick, right now. It, it looks stop. like I think okay, it's his shoulder. It's, I think his, it's, shoulder. A, I think it's his shoulder. Oh, right, it's his shoulder, but this is full color. It's help me. Is that an air balloon um, infused with a woman in a red dress over an ocean? I don't. Yeah. No. Okay. That, that, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so it's a hot air balloon. Yeah. And. It goes down with flames towards the bottom, the base of the balloon that l literally infuses into the head of a woman wearing a red dress with, I think, heels right over the ocean. How do you yeah. feel about that, brother? That one's uh, been tattooed on people more than any other piece I've ever so done. So this is your famous... This That's is the, the one. <laughs> That's the one. Can I ask you this question now? Why that one? Because that one is also an album cover by the same band. <laughs> so and it's there. It's so yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's really there's but yeah, let's see the little like thumbnails. Yeah. Those are all different ones. Oh, so these are all so that's not the there's another one. Yeah, it's all Oh my god. There's different versions of it. Yeah. There's there's, there's, there's some one. different versions of it. Yeah. There's another one. There's another <laughs> one. It just keeps going. Dude, you're like a Greek god. You know what that you know what that's saying to you? It, yeah. they, they're like bowing down. They're like it's, basically it's, we yeah. love your art, man. It's We're, overwhelming. There's, there's, uh, there's have you did your parents there. know about this? No. <laughs> well how would they respond to this people getting full color tattoos? Um, and these aren't small pieces. They're not small. They're no. covering their Right, Jason? These are huge pieces. And these these are just the balloons. Yeah. So we got a <laughs> shout out. What's the name of the band? Circa. Circa Survive. Thank you. Circa Survive. And their just, fans. Um, oh, my you God. Know, they're, they're they have the best fans. So they have the best it's fans. the Circa Survive fans. Yeah. But they have to know you did the artwork, right? Uh, they're about to get this think, permanently yeah. done on their Yeah, body. I think the majority of them do. Okay. You know? So it yeah it's 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 been great. I don't God, think that that's, that's a normal crazy. thing, you know. Yeah. Would you look at? I mean, you probably don't need to do this because your your you, your profession is doing art. But would you ever? Have you ever thought about going into a different profession, such as tattooing your art on? Like, because they're they're getting it anyway. Mm -hmm. But what if they're like, no, we want the original artist to tattoo me? You know, would you learn how to do that? <sighs> You know, I, I like the idea of that, Yeah. you know, but, um, I, you know, g getting art direction from other people, like, I feel like I've kind of skimmed through life, um, uh, being able to kind of do the stuff that I want to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just know that like, if it's heavily art directed, like, oh, you know, can you do like a yin and yang sign with wings and, you know, people you have know, asked or, you know, stuff like, like mm -hmm. something like that. Like I would feel really like. I don't want to do this. This oh, is a very work, you know. Yeah. So the people that do tattoos, I mean, that's like that's something else. They, they have a really like different that, mindset, and it's really like I'm envious of it. So they're just like, I'm going to do the best work I can with you know whatever idea right. they throw at me. You right, know? I think that's right. pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, so, I just don't. I, I might my, my ego's too big. I I feel like I would mm. struggle with like doing other people's ideas. Yeah, I hear you. I you hear know? you. So okay, it's just preference. You know, yeah. But I would like to learn just to know. Yeah, I mean, you know. yeah, that'd be interesting, man. You know. It'd be a challenge, I think, you know, because it's a yeah. different medium for you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you do watercolors as well? Or? Uh, no. Because Dave, because yeah, the he, Choster, Dave Cho, shout out to Dave. Dave, his, that's my favorite thing of his, is his wa beautiful watercolors. You know, I, I really like his, yeah. I, 
when we There's went to Big Bear to record amazing. the Manchi album, uh, we stopped by Kmart, mm-hmm. and literally the Kmart uh, water, he just grabbed one of those, and we went back to, we rented out a, he rented out a cabin for all of us that were recording, and he was in the kitchen that night, and he was coming up with the coolest stuff, and I'm like, yeah. and I thought he did it with like pens, but he's like, oh, he had a, a cup full of water, and watercolors, and he's like, no, yeah. I just did it with this. Did you see that that one painting he did? And I think it was from like one of those like ninety nine cent store brooms, and it was like a reclining nude. It was just all black. I don't know if I saw that one. Oh, was man. that at the Chosho? So simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, how was... did you meet? Speaking of Dave, shout out to the Choster. How did you meet Dave Cho? Uh, through James. So how many years ago was that? Uh, maybe two thousand seven or eight, something like that. When, then, it, when James had a show at Jonathan Levine Gallery, and I you guys got a lot along right away. Um, we didn't not get along, but you know, mm-hmm. I, I was acquainted with them. Yeah, back then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda... It was good seeing you at Suplantation, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a good time that night. Um, how'd you meet Aaron Horky? Uh, we had a show together, mm-hmm. and I guess I met him at this gallery called Think Space. Mm-hmm. We had we had a show, mm-hmm. and uh, it was kind of his um, his idea for the show. And Shout out to Aaron, by the way. Oh man, yeah, he's, that's he's, the homie right there. Yeah, yeah, Minnesota yeah. all the way, baby. Yeah, are you? No, no, I lived there briefly in a di- uh, when we were kids. Yeah, but I know he's from there. So yeah, yeah, yeah he's so talented, but mm-hmm. also just like super, like super detailed. Like you, all nice of you guy. guys are like super, super nice guy. detailed, super nice guy. <laughs> yeah, um, but I met him um, right before that, mm-hmm. like years and years ago. I had did. Uh, I, I, I feel like it might have been juxtapose i did a like a little interview mm-hmm. and for i, I sh- shouted him out because i was so like explain to the viewers the uh, these kids people. might not know what juxtapose is what what is just juxtapose, Ju- juxtapose is just a, it's, it's a magazine. magazine yeah it's a okay it's an art magazine okay yeah. and so i was already a big fan mm-hmm. and and uh and then you know years and years later like this whole opportunity uh came up and then we painted a mural together. Oh that's cool. I didn't even know about in that. In Hawaii. That's cool, dude. And God, you know, his spray paint uh capability is just like his drawing. I, I just don't understand it. Same thing I with, don't understand same it. thing with Dave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah same yeah, thing yeah. with Dave. Okay, so just we were like, at a Monty show in Minnesota and they they we was at a warehouse space and they had like they they obviously wanted Dave to do something, but they, Dave was like, no. And then they go, Steve, can you do something? Because Dave's not around. And I've never held a spray can in my life. So I tried to do something, and it looked like a five-year-old did it. And then they go, Dave. And then later on the night, Dave, can you do something? I kid you not, he didn't even spend that much time. He just went, and it looked like a, the, um, have you seen him, the um, animal chin? One of the, the uh, Chinese dude with like a rice hat, oh, but it yeah. looked like a like a drawing. Yeah, I uh, I couldn't. It, it boggled my. And but that's when I realized like, oh, this this is a different level of yeah. like skill here. Yeah, he's a, he's a professional. Do you know, yeah, I mean, he's. <laughs> and then I go, and then I was just so curious and jealous at the same time because I had mine looked like a five year old did it, and I go, how, Dave, how did you do that? And he goes, he like just walked away. He goes. Can control. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, can't control, dude. And then he just walked away. So the same thing with Aaron. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just mind-boggling. Yeah, like I, I'm really new to just using cans. spray paint. And, you know, it's it, it's really hard. Yeah. I mean, how, I mean, how, uh, d- d- just hypothesize how long it took Aaron and Dave to learn how to get that good with the spray can. That's yeah. a couple years, right? Yeah, I think anything. Just yeah. with anything, right? Yeah. That would be amazing yeah. just to learn, that, have that down, right? Yeah. You know, I'm already a couple years in and I'm not there. So maybe I'm. This oh, you're, is all you're bullshit. messing with you're, yeah, you're messing with it now? You're doing spray can? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And oh. I'm, I'm terrible at it, but I, I, you know, I just rework the things that I'm screwing up and, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm learning. But. You know what, Dave? Uh, he gave me a, a, a clue. Or like um, he says, uh, I, I guess it's the uh, the cap. He what he did? He told me he covered with his finger um, to make it thinner. He he, he put a, a finger over the nozzle to make it thinner. So that's something that stuck out. He like just I guess through time learned that. So yeah, he told me that. I mean, 
not like it helped me, but yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great. How are we doing on time? We doing good or? Dude, over uh, an hour. It's over an hour, dude. We're good. All right. I mean, let's no hold up. Before we end, I wanna, I wanna really promote like if you have any upcoming shows. We didn't even get into your, like your art shows now, but can we talk about that? Or if you have yeah. shows coming up, I uh, do have a show coming up. Great. Let's talk about that to the camera. When is it? All right, May tenth at the Mesa Art Center in Mesa, Arizona. I might have to go check that Come out. Come and check it out. I could drive from Gilbert, borrow my mom's minivan. Yeah. yeah so uh, take me five minutes to get there, dude. Yeah, it's going to be a show with um, a bunch of new work, a bunch of uh, older work showcased, and uh, a bunch of my skateboards, and uh, a book release, my first book. Say the date, and how do they get tickets in the website and It's everything? all free. Just show, free. show up. Yeah, it's um, the Mesa Art Center. <laughs> May. It, May 10th. May 10th. And I think, I don't know how long it's up, but I think it'll be up for like at least two or three months. So... This is great. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Soon. Let's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then. Or check out your Instagram to maybe let Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's yeah. your Instagram? Okay. What's your Instagram first and then your website? Everything is just E S A O. That's for Instagram. That's for dot com or dot net. It's all E S E S A O. E S A O's website is E S A O dot net. Simple. Yeah. And it has I all of out. his work, guys. It's beautiful stuff. I mean, it's mind blowing. You, you're you're going to get inspired, and it's just good for you. I want to make it to Mesa. Yeah, come on out. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Uh, did we miss something? Um, this is. Well, I this got is... one question. But let's, uh, let's well, no, 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 no. Go ahead, ask your question, Georgie. I'll throw it to Jason. See if he's J- Jason, you got, a, Jason, you got a Jason, you got a question. Got, Jason, you've been uh, sitting there quiet the whole time. Yeah, well, and you Jason. didn't even open your Hanson's. Uh, oh my god! Uh, and Jason didn't uh, even open his Hanson's beverage. Ask anything, dude. Jason, you Jason, did yeah, you want to ask Esau something? Him specifically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a question, Jason. You know, we got to we got to make sure you're home. Yeah. Uh, you like Frank Frazetta? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, he's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, he's very cool. And mm-hmm. that was one of like the books I checked out of the library mm-hmm. like every single time I went back to the library. And mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, George, what's your question? Uh, do you have any tattoos? Uh, you know... Not really. I have oh, a, I have a couple. Of, you do. I have a couple of these three right here. Yeah, yeah. And one's a, uh, all right, a skull. Yeah, a skull and crossbones. Mm-hmm. Where when Eric Ellington got married, mm-hmm. I think eleven of us got this. That's amazing. All at the same time. Wow. And then, what tattoo shop? Uh, In some, Arizona? Oh, someplace I think really near here. Um, true, true tattoo. I don't know. It was just some hole in the wall. I think I spent fifteen dollars okay. or something. Okay. Cool, on it. cool. And then. Uh, there's a guy doing a oh, hang dope. 10 oh, nose wheeling yeah, stick dude. figure. Hell yeah, that's same, dope. I think five or six of us in the like same group. That's like some day group. one stuff right there. And then this other one is a, a like a, a a font that says cool. uh, the letter G with yeah, some yeah, wavy yeah, lines yeah, yeah. for the ocean and mm-hmm. a s- sun sign. And I got that for uh, when I went on a trip to Guam with a bunch of Gemini Artists. people. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. This guy, cool. Tristan Eaton, yeah. uh, organized it, and it was... Uh, really amazing trip and so cool. like a dozen of us got that so i only get tattoos where a lot of <laughs> other people are getting them at the same oh, time cool, but cool. those are the only three that i have oh we got a tattoo together as well me and george oh, good. Yeah. yeah i got my brother i designed this one and he got what, what, well that's yeah, that's yeah. really that's yeah, really cool and then what'd you get george i got a grievous angel he got a grievous angel Okay. Good. And then uh, direct message George to, so he could explain what a grievous angel is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you. So we're good on the commercials? Um, well, you wanted to uh, open that and then we'll... Yeah, no, no, no. I have to do uh, okay. some announcements and we'll open that and, we'll, and it's a wrap. Okay, and then we'll remind people I like to, to yeah. pick up these great products. Yeah, yeah product. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, let's, I, yeah, yeah, and then sh- yeah, we love, we love Purple Mattress and we love Blue Chew. I love... I, well, I we'll say pillow uh, also. The, uh, the promo code mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we will. Um, so coming up, you know. coming up.
So that wasn't so bad, huh? In your mind, you, you thought, I mean, this was this was easy, right? Yes. My favorite part was the tattoos. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, shout out to, we have a Patreon for the show. If you want to support the Stevie Weeby Show and give life to us, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. I do a weekly uh, diary vlog or blog audio specifically just for my patrons. And they're usually 15 minutes, and it's, it's only podcast, it's huh? basically another podcast, but only for my patrons. And you can find out that uh, Steve doesn't even appreciate Bryce and I showing up to his show, but he appreciates other people, right, Steve? Okay, anyway, <laughs> patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Shout out to the two new patrons this week, my man Johnson Parker and 54C. Shout out to Austin Ramey for uh, checking out some music that I, I did. Um... Uh, you can follow the show on Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. If you want to send anything to the show, we have a P.O. box. Uh, send stuff to the Stevie Weeby Show, fourteen twenty five North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. box thirteen ninety one, L.A. California nine zero zero nine three. And uh, speaking of the P.O. box, we got something in the mail. That looks nice. I gotta give a cool. shout out to my man Jared Worldwide in Denver, Colorado. So I'm going to, I have to guess what it is, and you're going to reveal it. Okay. I'm going to guess it's a sweatshirt. I, I was going to say t-shirt, but it seems a little thicker. So. All right. oh. oh, was he I was right? right? He was right. I was right. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, oh, what is it? Yeah, Worldwide Conservation. Fourth Wilderness Congress. I love it. Put it on. I will. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Look at this. Conservation. I think it's a champion. Wow, isn't this cool? Yeah, Kirby likes it, too. Yeah. So are we going to do some more um, shout-outs to our sponsors? Uh, just remind people of promo code, Steve. Okay, so the promo codes. You know, okay, the, the promo codes. Blue Chew. The promo codes for Blue Chew. Blue Chew is B-L-U-E-Chew.com. Promo code Stevie, just like the show. And That's what a, do I, you get? You get the... You get... First shipment free? First shipment free. Get your first shipment free when you use a special promo code. S-T-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E -E. Just pay $5 shipping, and it's yours, okay? And you'll be bing rock hard. Okay? And then for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's got to sell. And then the, for the purple mattress, go to... Um, Purple, right? Is that thing going to be on there? Uh, text 474747. Yeah, text. What do you text to that? Te that's Stevie 474747. 47. Again, text S T E E B E E 474747. 47. Okay? And then is there in the description, there's the websites on there, right? Yep, it should be on the description for the audio and the video. So, so uh, th big ups to Purple Mattresses and Blue Chew Pills. Ba-boom. Kaboom. Hey, Esau, thanks, brother. I'm going to try to make it in Mesa. Okay. With that being said, Little Ray's not here this week, but he'll be back shortly. He, oh, I heard he dissed you at your show. Yeah, dude. he did, dis he did uh, show up. I guess up. you got to listen to the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, listen to the Patreon for Patreon that. Exclusive. Yeah, uh, Patreon exclusive. Yeah, Little Ray did respect uh, disrespect uh, our set time. We love you guys. Wow. Wow.